Ooh, yeah, that package pop, baby. New stuff. Let's do it. What's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back to all you veterans. Hang on a second. Let me address the new guy girl who just showed up. Look, if you came to watch a guy unbox some stuff, have a good time, and just kind of make a fool out of himself on the internet with some tech products, you came to the right spot. I don't get too technical here. I just talk to the average person who's looking to buy some stuff. And today, oh, veterans, go ahead, come back in. This is for everybody now. Today, we're going to be talking about the Snap Wireless power base triple wireless charger we're talking about charging everything that you have everything yes everything so here it is right here it's already unboxed because there was nothing else on there let's see what's on the back okay let's look at some stuff man i know i don't get too technical but there's some stuff on the back of the box that i might want to talk about here so 10 watt fast wireless charging and that means you're gonna have to have like a fast wireless charging or a like a a high powered or a 10 watt brick you know the thing you plug into the wall you know what i'm talking about a lot of the samsung phones just come with them other phones come with them as well unique five coil design so there's five coils in this bad boy multi-position charging meaning that you don't have to you know kind of specifically put your phone on the charger you can just slap it down on there and get your charge on uh, you got your apple watch stand to lay flat or you can have it up and then you got an overcharge and over voltage protection, which is great to hear because you don't want to be burning up your tech. So let me just pull this bad boy out and pull out all of its accessories and, and connection apparatus. So we have the charging base there. We have a USB-C cable. And what is this? This, okay, this is that arm that kind of holds up your Apple Watch. So let's take that out real quick and we have a little pad here and we also have some instructions which i may or may not need let's just put that box to the side showing some respect so the instructions say you just pop this cap off right here by pushing on the side and pulling it up then you have a usb input right there the usb a input and then you route your apple uh, watch charging base uh, through this stand part right here you just kind of route it through there and then you can run your cable through here Let's see how this is going to work out. So you just, which way is it supposed to be standing? That way. So you just route your cable through here and you follow the arrows around. Now this actually took me a while to figure this out because my cable was longer than the track. You actually can, you do have enough space in here to loop this around twice. So what you're going to do is you're going to route your, um, your Apple Watch base cord through here, run, run it through here on the bottom one time, make it loop around, and then a second time, and then cut it in right there. And that will fit perfectly. So you just slide that back on, and then you have your stand in place. Then with the provided USB-C cable, plug it into your, um, your, your power brick. I'm using my Samsung one because I do have a Galaxy Note. Uh, but you definitely need some type of high wattage uh, charger to work for this to work the way it's intended. So just plug that into a wall outlet and you'll see some lights blinking right here. I don't know if you can see them though. Can you see the little blue light blinking? No. That tells you that it's good to go and then it turns off. And then this is a Galaxy Note right here. You just slap it on and then it will start to charge. You see 75% fast wireless charging, 47 minutes till full. And then we'll take an iPhone. I don't know what iPhone model this is, but it's it's one of the later ones. And then you slap that on there. And then is it going to work? Let's just tilt it just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. 62% charge. I don't think it was matching up with the backside of the phone. And then we can actually put both of these on here. Let's see what we get. So we have 75% charging and then we still have the iPhone charging as well. So they're both fast charging. Well, I know the Samsung phone is fast charging, but uh, I don't know about this iPhone. You know, I'm not a huge iPhone fan. I actually borrowed my son's phone and watch because, you know, I don't do the Apple products. Here we go. Now let's see about the Apple Watch. Boom, put it on a stand. That was fast. Now let's put on our iPhone to see if it'll charge. All right, it is charging up. And then we'll put on this Galaxy Note to see if it's gonna charge. Yes, it is taking a charge. And it says fast wireless charging. Snap. 
you done it again. But you know what? I know some people do not want their uh, phone or their watch to be up on the stand. So yes, you can have your, uh, your AirPods or whatever that will take wireless charging on here as well. But sometimes you don't want that, that watch on the stand because it is taking up quite a bit of space. So let's go ahead and convert it over to the flat mode. That way you can see how it all works in that mode as well. Okay, so once you've dismantled this thing, you can just slide your Apple Watch charger uh, pad in there, and you're gonna see me do this in real time where it will wrap around twice, or maybe even more than twice since I've taken off that stand, and we'll get it wrapped in there. Let's see if we can get it, let's see if we can get it, and just slide it right back into its slot. All right, so we just put that right back in there, run it through that channel, and what happens here is we have a gap, okay? And that's why they provide this little 3M stick pad right here. So you would actually stick this on the back of your Apple Watch charger and then that provides a, a filler for that gap right there. Then we can put our, our backing right back on it and then we have a flat charging base. There's my LEDs right there. Let me know it's, it's on. And then bam, we got our Apple Watch charging. Yep, it's charging. Then we got our iPhone charging. It's charging. Let's scoot that bad boy over and let's charge up that Galaxy Note 10 Plus. What? Mm, snap, you've done it again. I'm digging this charger, man. It is all right in my book. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna give it two emoji hands up and you should give me two emoji hands up in the comment section as well for doing this video and showing you this awesome snap wireless charger pad. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I just like doing these videos for you guys because it's just what I do. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure you keep coming back for more because I'm always opening up new stuff. And I know the world is upside down right now and it feels like it's on fire, but don't lose faith in humanity. A lot of us are good people and that includes me and you too. So until I get back with another video, keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. Oh, so you one of them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might wanna consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?